Hey folks and welcome back. Today is a video which is the third part of the video series related to key cloak integration with Spring API Gateway. Now some of you were facing problems while actually logging out the user session from the key cloak server when you actually do a logout on the API Gateway. So today we will be looking into how we can actually solve this particular issue. So now what we are going to do now is let me just go through the projects back again. Uh, so we have the Spring Cloud Gateway application here and then we have the product service which is going to be the resource server and we have an endpoint inside this. So we have this controller which returns us the user, basically the logged in principle and the UUID against it. And then we have the product service here with the controller which returns the logged in user but only when the slash product endpoint has been hit. So now this is the project setup. So before we actually start everything, the first thing is that we want to look at what are the changes that have been brought in for the key cloak 18. So first thing is that let's look at the Docker image. So here what I have is I have key cloak 18 being used. Now this has more options when you start up this particular Docker image. So you have this start mode of dev and you can import a real M settings at the beginning itself. Now if I compare this with my previous version so if you see here previously i had 15.01 and then i've updated to 18 and now i'm specifying this volume through which i can actually upload that particular realm configuration this was about the key cloak 18 update now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start this particular key cloak so here we have the key cloak already been started at this uh, location and we are going to expose it at 8080. So first thing is that let's look at how this login happens, right? So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this application here. So I'm going to start the gateway application first and then I'm going to start also the product service application. So both our applications have started. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the API gateway. So localhost 1990. So my API gateway is running at localhost 1990 and it's serving this particular page. Now this particular page has been served irrespective of whether the user has logged in or not. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the slash user URL. So now this slash user URL, which we have here is actually part of the API gateway controller which will just give us a principle. But to get this particular principle, I need to be logged in for this, right? So what I'm going to do now is click on this. And as you can see, I get redirected to the key cloak page. So I'm going to enter the credentials test and test and sign in. So when I sign in, I get this particular user ID, which is returned as a part of this particular response. Here. Similarly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the slash product endpoint. This means that now this response has been gathered from the product service and it's also returning the UUID. So if I go to the product service controller here, here I see it returns me the principal name and it returns me this particular message. So this tells me that this particular response has come from the product service. So this was all that was present in the previous videos of mine. Now the problem that we faced was if I hit the logout endpoint here, so if I hit logout, we get this logout option and we say logout and we think that the logout has happened, right? Now let me go back to the index page and then click on user. Now, if you see right now, I'm actually logged in still. I have not entered my credentials yet. I'm supposed to be logged out. Now, this is a problem that we are trying to fix here. So for this, what we are going to do first is let's actually go back to our IDE and we have to do two settings. So first thing is that let's go to the property files of the API gateway. So in the property file of the API gateway, we need to add this particular scope here. So the scope that we have to add here is open ID. This is something that we need. And the second thing is that we need to handle a logout successful handler. So for this in our security configs here, what am I going to do is I'm going to add this particular bean here. So if you see in this particular bean, we have this server logout successful handler bean, which actually requires the client registration repository. Now, what is this client registration repository? Remember in the properties file, we actually register a particular client, right? So all the clients that get registered over here goes into this particular registry here. So we need this particular repository. 
what we do is we create this OIDC client initiated server logout success handler. So what does this do is this actually initiates on the success of a logout on the API gateway. It triggers a logout onto the server. Which server? That is Keycloak. Here what we do, we also set the logout redirect URL. So this is the redirect URI that it will redirect to once a logout happens. And that's it. This is the only configuration for the bean that we need. Next, what we do, we need to actually provide this particular handler to the logout success handler. So I have this here. I'm going to enable this and I have this handler here. So I'm going to take the handler and I'm going to set the logout success handler. So this is the change that you need to actually fix the logout issue from your API gateway to Keycloak. So with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart my Spring OAuth client. That is my API gateway. So now my API gateway has restarted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the slash user endpoint. But the user endpoint will still return me the logged in user. Why? Because we have not logged out the user from Keycloak. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say log out and this redirects me to this particular form and I say log out. Now, actually, if you see the URL has gone to this logout.html. So this logout.html is the static file that is here, which just contains that you are logged out and it contains a link to slash user. Now, to test this back again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the slash user endpoint. So if you see now, now it is actually asking me to re-log in. Why? Because a session on Keycloak has been logged out previously by a previous call. So now let me log in back again. And I get the user ID here. Similarly, I can now also do this for the product endpoint and I'm getting the response from the resource server itself. So this is how you fix the login and logout issue with Keycloak and an API gate. Also remember to understand this entire setup, please refer to my videos, which I'm linking somewhere here and I'm putting them also into the description below. So make sure you check out both those videos to understand the entire flow right from the API gateway to the resource server and Keycloak, all the three components involved in the login part with Keycloak. So today we saw how we can solve this particular logout issue from the Keycloak server. I keep on exploring more such kind of things. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and see you in my next one.